carvene is a carbon intermediate having two bond pair and two electron so this is the general representation of a carbene now carbene has six electron so this is electron deficient species so carbene is electron deficient species so it can act as electrophile carbene can act as a electrophile Now let us discuss about generation of carbene. So one way to generate carbene is to heat diazomethane. CH2N2 is called diazomethane so we can write lewis dot structure for this molecule so this is diazomethane if diazomethane is heated it can generate carbene so this bond goes here nitrogen has a positive charge and a nitrogen molecule is removed so in this way we can generate a carbene so this is a carbene another way to generate carbene is treat CHCl3 that is chloroform with a strong base like potassium tartbutoxide so this molecule is potassium tartbutoxide So when chloroform is treated with potassium tartbutoxide it generates a carbene and reaction is simply acid base reaction so this is a strong base and this hydrogen is acidic and this happens because of minus i effect of chlorine so due to minus i effect of chlorine hydrogen in chloroform that is chcl3 is acidic in nature so this hydrogen can be abstracted we have three lone pairs on oxygen at the same time one chlorine atom can leave so this case chlorine is acting as a leaving group so this chlorine atom is acting as a leaving group so finally we will have we can replace this potassium with H plus 
so we will have an alcohol and we will have CCl, Cl and one lone pair of electron will be here and Cl minus will be freed that can form a salt with potassium plus so we will have in this case CCl2 as carbene so this is a carbene only thing is in this case in place of hydrogen we have chlorine so there are two way to generate a carbene one can treat chloroform with potassium tartbutoxide or we can heat diazomethane now types of carbene basically we have two types of carbene one is called singlet carbene singlet carbene is represented something like this this shows these two electrons are in the same orbital so electrons are in same orbital So in case of singlet carbene, electrons are paired so this carbene is diamagnetic in nature so this is diamagnetic in nature what is hybridization so we need three hybrid orbital so we have two groups and one group is this one so in this case we need three hybrid orbitals so hybridization in this case is sp2 so hybridization is sp2 now we can show geometry so we will have two hydrogen and we will have one lone pair of electron and the p orbital is empty so a structural will be planar so a structure is planar and shape is bent so in this case shape is bent, angular or V-shaped. So when I say shape or geometry, we only consider the bond pair of electrons. So the bond pair of electron forms angular or we can say this is a V-shaped. Now let us consider triplet carbon. So we have one kind of carbon is singlet carbon. Another type of carbon is called triplet carbon. And triplet carbon is represented something like this. That is, these two electrons are in different orbital. So we have two electrons are in different orbital. and two electrons are unpaired so they are paramagnetic in nature so this is paramagnetic in nature because electrons are unpaired now what is hybridization so this time we need four hybrid orbitals because this is different orbital this electron is different orbital this bond requires one orbital this bond requires one orbital so total we need four orbitals so we need four orbitals so in this case 
these two bond pairs are in hybrid orbital. So these two bond pairs are made up of hybrid orbital. But these two lone pairs are in atomic orbital, basically not lone pair, this is lone electron. So this electron is single electron. So this is lone electron. So lone electron resides in atomic orbital. So we need two atomic orbital and we need two hybrid orbital and we need two hybrid orbital. So this means hybridization is sp. So triplet carbene has a hybridization of sp. What is the shape? Since hybridization is sp, shape will be linear. So this is the orbital picture diagram and shape is linear. So geometry or shape is linear. Why singlet carbene is called singlet? And this can be explained on the basis of total spin. Total spin is given by 2s plus 1. Where s is the sum of a spin. Since two electrons are in the same orbital, one will have plus half, another electron will have minus half. So sum of a spin that is s, that is plus half and minus half. So this is equals to 0. So total spin is 0 plus 1 and that is 1. And that's why this carbene is called singlet carbene. Now in case of triplet carbene, total spin is again given by the same formula that is 2s plus 1. Now these two electrons are unpaired. They have same spin that is s is equals to plus half. Another will also have s is equals to plus half. So total spin is plus half plus half that is 1. So we can write total spin is 2s plus 1 2 into 1 plus 1 that is 3. And that's why this is called triplet carbene. So this time we are getting number 3. In the first case we are getting number 1. So this is about introduction of carbene.